tayo ng masaral Sa mas walang maiiwan At sayang masaral tayo ng mas tuto Upang di kayo masenso Maging matyaga, maging matalino Hindi na masaral na tayo Maging matyaga, maging matalino Halina mataral na tayo Halina mataral na tayo Halina mataral na tayo Halina Isang matganda at matsayang araw sa minamahal naming guro, Home Learning Partners, lahat ng mga nanonood sa araw na ito, higit sa lahat sa mga batang mandunong. Welcome to Project SOAR, Series of Online Academic Reviews of Mathematics Clade Learning Modules. I am Mario V. Saraos, a grade 6 math teacher of Addition Hills Integrated School, your math buddy for this week lesson in Mathematics 6, Quarter 4, Week 2. Today, we are going to study about the volume of a solid figures like cylinder, pyramid, cones, and spear. Handa na ba kayo mga bata? Tara na, samahan nyo ako para tayo ay matuto! Narito ang ating objectives. Finds the volume of cylinder, pyramids, cones, and spears. Solves routine and non-routine problems involving volumes of solids. Ating munang balikan ang inyong napag-aralan ng isang linggo. Let's have the directions. Match the formula of volume of the solid figures in column B with the name of the solid figures in column A. Write the letter of your answer before each number. Let's have number 1. Prism What is the formula in finding the volume of a prism? Letter A. Very good. That is length times width times height. Next, number 2. Pyramid What is the answer? Letter C. That is one third times length times width times height. Let's have number 3. Cylinder Letter B. That is pi times r squared times height. Next, number 4. Cone Answer. That is letter D. That is one third times pi times r squared times height. And let's have number 5. Spear that is letter E, that is 4 over 3 times pi times r raised to the third power. Let's try to understand the concept of volume. Volume is the amount of space in a solid figure. It is measured in cubic units. The volume can be obtained by multiplying the area of the base of the solid figure times its height. So we are going to use the formula volume is equal to area of the base times height. Let's have the first figure. What kind of figure is that? Very good, that is a rectangular prism. The volume of the rectangular prism is equal to the area of the base times the height. The area of the base is obtained by multiplying the length times the width. For instance, the height of the given rectangular prism is 4 meters, the width is 3 meters, and the length is 7 meters. Now, if you are going to get the volume of this rectangular prism, you are going to use this formula. V is equal to the area of the base times height which is V is equal to length times width times height. Now, substitute the given numbers, which is V is equal to 7, which is the length, 3, which is the width, times 4, which is the height. 
Now, if you are going to multiply the three given numbers, you come up with the product of 84. Therefore, the volume of the rectangular prism is 84 cubic meters. Let's go to the next figure. What kind of figure is that? Very good, that is a cube. A cube is a special kind of rectangular prism because its edges or sides are equal. For instance, the sides of this cube is 15 cm. How do we get the volume of this cube? By using the formula, we have V is equal to length times width times height or you can use V is equal to S times S times S or V is equal to S raised to the third power. Substitute the given numbers, we have V is equal to 15 raised to the third power which is 15 times 15 times 15. So if you are going to multiply the three given numbers, you come up with the product of 3,375. Therefore, the volume of this cube is 3,375 cubic meter. Let's go to the third one. This is a cylinder. The volume of the cylinder is equal to the area of the circular base of the cylinder times its height. Now, for instance, the height of the cylinder is 6 feet and have a radius of 3 feet. How do we get the volume of the cylinder? Using the formula which is volume is equal to pi times radius square times height. Substitute the given numbers, we have volume is equal to 3.14 which is pi times r square which is 3 raised to the second power times the height which is 6. So volume is equal to 3.14 times 3 raised to the second power is equal to 9 times the height which is 6. So if you are going to multiply 3.14 times 9 times 6, you come up with the answer of 169.56. Therefore, the volume of the cylinder is 169.56 cubic feet. Let's go to the next one. Pyramid. The volume of a pyramid is equal to the one-third of the area of the base times its height. If you have a rectangular pyramid, the base is rectangle. That is why the volume is one-third times length times width times height. And if you have a square pyramid, the base is square. The volume is one-third times s square times its height. Let's have first rectangular pyramid. How do we obtain the volume of this rectangular pyramid? For instance, the height of this rectangular pyramid is 10 cm. We have a width of 2 cm and length of 3 cm. Using the given formula, that is V is equal to one third times length times width times height or you can use V is equal to length times width times height divided by 3. Substitute, we have V is equal to 3 cm which is the length, 2 cm which is the width and the height which is 10 cm divided by 3. So the first thing that you are going to do is multiply 3 times 2 times 10, you come up with the answer of 60, then divided by 3. So that is 60 divided by 3, you come up with the product of 20. Therefore, the volume of that rectangular prism is 20 cubic centimeter. Let's go to the square pyramid. For instance, the height of this square pyramid is 12 centimeter. The given side is 10 cm. 
what are you going to do in order to get the volume? Using the formula, which is V is equal to S times S times height divided by 3. Substitute, we have volume is equal to 10 cm, which is the side, times 10 cm times 12, which is the height, divided by 3. So, 10 times 10 times 12, you come up with a product of 1,200 divided by 3. So, get the quotient. So, V is equal to 400. Therefore, the volume of this given square pyramid is 400 cubic centimeter. Let's go to the next figure. Cone. Kindly give me an example of an object that represents a cone. Very good, an ice cream cone. What else? A party hat, the hat that you are using when you are attending a party. Remember that the volume of a cone is equal to one-third of the area of the circular base of the cone times its height. So we are going to use the volume one-third times pi times r squared times height. For instance, the height of this given cone is 6 decimeter, the radius of 4 decimeter. What is the volume of this cone? Using the formula, V is equal to 1 third times pi times r squared times height. Substitute V is equal to 1 third times 3.14 which is the pi times 4 decimeter square which is the radius times 6 decimeter which is the height. V is equal to 1 third times 3.14 times 16 times 6. Saan natin nakuha ang 16? That is 4 Raise to the second power or 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Volume is equal to 301.44 over 3. Saan naman natin nakuha ang 301.44? Simply multiply 1 times 3.14 times 16 times 6. You come up with the product of 301.44. That is divided by 3. Get the quotient. The answer is 100.44. Therefore, the volume of this cone is 100.48 cubic decimeter. Let's go now to the last figure. The speed. Kindly give me an object that represents a speed. A ball. A marble, a globe, the one that you are using in your Araling Panlipunan, those are example of a sphere. Remember that the volume of the sphere is equal to the 4 third of pi times r raised to the third power where pi is equal to 3.14 and r is the radius. For instance, the sphere has a radius of 6 feet. What is the volume of the spear? <laughs> Using the formula, we have V is equal to 4 over 3rd times pi times r raised to the 3rd power. Again, substitute, we have V is equal to 4 over 3rd times 3.14 times 6 feet raised to the 3rd power. So we have volume is equal to 4 times 3.14 times 216 divided by 3. Saan natin nakuha ang 216? Simply get the equivalent of 6 raised to the third power or that as 6 times 6 times 6 is equal to 216. Again, multiply 4 times 3.14 times 216 you come up with a product of 2712.96 divided by 3. So if you are going to get the quotient, you come up with the answer of 
Therefore, the volume of the sphere is 904.32 cubic feet. Nakasunod ba kayo mga bata? Remember that the volume of a solid figure is obtained by multiplying the area of the base and its height. Mga bata, subukan natin ito. Ihanda ang lapis, papel at ballpen. Number 1. Rectangular prism. The rectangular prism has a height of 3 feet. The length is 6 feet. The width is 5 feet. Compute the volume. What is your answer? Tignan natin kung tama ang inyong sagot. Using the formula, we have V is equal to length times width times height divided by 3. Substitute, we have 6 feet times 5 feet times 3 feet divided by 3. V is equal to 90 feet. Saan natin nakuha ang 90? Simply multiply 6 times 5 times 3. You come up with the product of 90 divided by 3. So 90 divided by 3, you come up with the quotient of 30. Therefore, the volume of this rectangular prism is 30 cubic feet. Very good! Let's have number 2. The cylinder. The cylinder has a radius of 2 feet. Height of 8 feet. What is the volume? What is your answer? Let's check if your answer is correct. Again, the formula of getting the volume of a cylinder, we have V is equal to pi times R squared times height. Substitute, we have 3.14 times 2 raised to the second power times 8. We have V is equal to 3.14 times 4 times 8. So 4, that is the equivalent of 2 squared. So multiply the 3 numbers, that is 3.14 times 4 times 8. You come up with the answer of 100.48 cubic feet. Therefore, the volume of the cylinder is 100.48 cubic feet. Your answer is correct. Excellent! Let's move on to problem solving about volume. Example number one. The problem is a cone-shaped paper cup has a radius of 2.1 cm and a height of 6 cm. How much volume of water can be placed in it? Use pi is equal to 3.14. Let's analyze and understand the problem using the steps in solving word problem. First one, what are given? Very good! Cone-shaped paper cup with radius of 2.1 cm and a height of 6 cm. What is asked on the problem? Very good! The volume of water that can be placed in the paper cup. Next one, what is the process to be used in solving the word problem? Use the volume of cone to solve the problem which is V is equal to 1 third times pi times R squared times height. Next one, what is the solution? Using the formula, in finding the volume of a cone, we have V is equal to 1 third times pi times R squared times height. Substitute, we have V is equal to 1 third times 3.14 times 2.1 raised to the second power times 6. We have volume is equal to 1 third times 3.14 times 4.41 times 6. Saan natin nakuha ang 4.41? The equivalent of 2.1 raised to the second power or 2.1 times 2.1 is equivalent to 
4.41. Next one, volume is equal to 83.844 ten thousands divided by 3. Saan naman natin nakuha ang 83.844 ten thousands? Simply multiply 1 times 3.14 times 4.41 times 6, you come up with a product of 83 and 844 ten thousands. Then you are going to divide it by 3. You come up with the quotient of 27 and 6,948 ten thousands. So what is the answer? The volume of the paper cup is 27 and 6,948 cubic centimeter. Sample number 2 Mga bata, ano ang inyong nakikita? Tama, regalo, a gift. Tuwing kailan tayo nagbibigay o makakatanggap ng regalo, Tama, tuwing Pasko, tuwing kaarawan natin, nakakatanggap o pwedeng magbibigay tayo ng regalo. Do you know that a gift represent happiness? Tuwing nakakatanggap o nagbibigay tayo ng regalo, tayo ay nagagalak, tuwang-tuwa, at syempre, masayang-masaya. Ngayon, what is the shape of the box or the gift? Malalaman natin ang sagot mamaya. And this is the problem. A gift has a volume of 700 cubic centimeter. The length of the box is 10 centimeter. And the width of the box is 10 centimeter. What is the height of the box? In order to solve the problem, we are going to use this formula. V is equal to length times width times height since the box is a prism. So, substitute since the volume is given on the problem, 700 is equal to 10 which is the width times 10 which is the length. Height is unknown. Continue. 700 is equal to 100 times height. Saan natin nakuha ang 100? That is 10 times 10 is equal to 100. Next process, divide both sides by 100. So that is 700 divided by 100 is equal to 100 divided by 100. The answer is 7. Therefore, the height of the gift box is 7 cm. Now, go back to the question a while ago. What is the shape of the box? Very good. It is a rectangular prism. Let's have example number 3. What is in the picture? You're right. That is a spherical storage tank. And what is the use of the spherical storage tank? The spherical storage tank are widely used for various types of liquids including hazardous contents like gases and diesels. Diyan iniimbak ang mga gases o kaya mga diesels. Now the problem is, a spherical storage tank for diesel has a radius of 20 feet. What is the volume of the storage tank? Round your answer to the nearest whole number. Use pi is equal to 3.14. Since the spherical storage tank is just like a spear, we are going to use this formula. V is equal to 4 thirds times pi times r raised to the third power. Again, substitute. We have V is equal to 4 over 3 times 3.14 times 20 raised to the third power. V is equal to 4 over 3 times 3.14 times 8,000. Saan natin nakuha ang 8,000? That is 20 raised to the third power or 20 times 20 times 20 is equal to 8,000. Next, 
we have volume is equal to 100,480 divided by 3. Saan naman natin nakuha ang 100,480? You are going to multiply 4 times 3.14 times 8,000. You have the answer of 100,480. Then divide it by 3. So if you are going to divide, you come up with the answer of 33,493.333 Since the problem says that you are going to round your answer to the nearest full number Therefore, the volume of the spherical storage tank is 33,493 cubic feet Mga bata, let's try this one What can you see in the picture? You're right, we have 4x4 four four Rubik's Cube. Do you know that Rubik's Cube is what we call the Magic Cube? Why it's Magic Cube? Because playing Rubik's Cube improves child cognitive ability and it also promotes healthy brain. Playing the Magic Cube has physically benefits like reflexes and hand coordination. Now you know. The Rubik's Cube has a side of 4 cm. The problem is, what is the volume of the Rubik's Cube whose side is 4 cm? What is your answer? Let's check if your answer is correct. Using the formula, V is equal to length times width times height or V is equal to S times S times S. Substitute we have volume is equal to 4 times 4 times 4. So if you are going to multiply the three numbers, you come up with the answer of. Therefore, the volume of the Rubik's Cube is 64 cubic centimeter. So your answer is correct. Very good. Let's try another one. What is in the picture? A popcorn, very good. What is the shape of the package of the popcorn? It's a paper cone, very good, so it's a cone. Do you know that there are few benefits of eating popcorn? Popcorn is high in fiber, contains phenolic acids, a type of antioxidant. Popcorn is also low in calories and has a low energetic density. The problem is, a package of the popcorn is shaped like a cone. The height of the cone is 12 cm and its radius is 10 cm. How much popcorn does it hold? What is your answer? Let's check if your answer is correct. Since the package of the popcorn is just like a cone, we are going to use this formula. V is equal to 1 third times pi times r squared times height. Substitute, we have V is equal to 1 third times 3.14 times 10 raised to the second power times 12 centimeter. V is equal to 1 third times 3.14 times 100 times 12. So, saan natin nakuha ang 100? That is 10 raised to the second power which is equivalent to 100. V is equal to 1 third times 3.14 times 1,200. Saan natin nakuha ang 1,200? We are going to multiply 100 times 12. You come up with the answer of 1,200. So, we have volume is equal to 3,768 divided by 3. Saan natin nakuha ang 3,768? Multiply 1 times 3.14 times 1,200. The answer is 3,768 divided it by 3. So, you come up with the quotient of 1,256. Therefore, the volume of the cone is 1,256 cubic centimeter. 
Your answer is right. Very good. Now let's check your understanding about the lesson. Let's have the directions. Answer the following questions. Write the letter of the correct answer. Let's have number one. Which of the following is the formula for the volume of cylinder? A. 4 over 3 times R raised to the third power. B. 1 third times length times width times height. C. Pi times R square times height. D. 1 third times pi times R square times height. What is your answer? Very good, letter C. Next, number 2. What solid figure has a formula of V is equal to 4 third times pi times R square? A sphere, V pyramid, C prism, D cone. What is your answer? Letter A sphere. Let's have number 3. What is the volume of the rectangular prism if the height is 5 feet, width is 3 feet, the length is 6 feet? A. 90 cubic feet C. 91 cubic feet B. 92 cubic feet D. 93 cubic feet What is the answer? Letter A. Very good. Let's have number 4. Which of the following is the formula for the volume of a square pyramid? Letter A. S times S times H divided by 3. Letter B. S raised to the second power. C. Pi times R raised to the second power. Letter D. Pi times R raised to the third power. What is the answer? Very good. Letter A. Let's go to the last one. Number 5. The volume of the cone is one third the volume of blank. What is the answer? A. Cone. B. Cylinder. C. Prism. D. Spear. What is the answer? Letter B. Cylinder Well done mga bata, natapos na natin ang ating aralin para sa quarter 4, week 2. And that's it for today's lesson. Thank you very much for watching. If you have questions, feel free to send us your message to our official Facebook page, Mathing Mathematics Teachers of Mandaluyong, or send a message to your mathematics teachers. Again, this is Mario Visaraos saying matsayang mag-aral, tayo ng matuto. Hanggang sa muli!